Mr. Danker, would you do the roll call, please? Mayor Steam. Present. Councilmember Large Anderson. Present. Councilmember King. Present. Austin. Present. Jordahl. Present. Hagen. Present. Carolyn. Present. Enright. Present. We have a quorum, Your Honor. Now, I told Steve Kime I'd wear this helmet for the opening of the meeting. I have fulfilled my obligation, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. I am number one is a motion for approving the <coughs> council minutes from May 2nd, 2016. We need okay. a motion. So move. Uh, hold on, we need to adopt the agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. I am number one is a motion for adoption of the agenda. So, so move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item two, we need a motion. Approving council minutes from May 2nd, 2016. So moved. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, under awards and recognitions. Austin Fire Department, I'm gonna let you guys take care of that. Good evening, Jim Halsey. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody for uh, letting us, allowing us to do the MDA fill the boot uh, last year. You probably all heard the numbers already, but I'll just uh, just go over the, our total was just over $19,000 with the help of the union. We pushed that over the 19,000. Um, our first hour into the fill the boot last year, we, we uh, accomplished that $100,000 mark of, of money that we've raised for MDA, and it's, it's just a great thing. Um, we, we, all the guys down there really enjoy doing it. We get um, good turnout from the part-time crew, too. Uh, we already got the approval from the chief this year, and um, we're looking at doing that on the August 17th, 18th, and 19th. So we need approval from you to do that again this year. And also, as far as the total, uh, that allows us to uh, display the, they award a golden ax for most money raised per union member, which is, was just over $2,000 per, and that's the best of any of the, the, the whole area, the five state area. So North and South Dakota, um, Minnesota, or the four state, North and South Dakota, Minnesota, and, and Wisconsin. So per union member, we raise more money than even the firefighters in Minneapolis, St. Paul, any of the big cities. So, um, and we couldn't, we couldn't do that with any of you, without any of your approval, so thank How you. How many years have you been doing it? Your number seven. This will so. be the seventh? I believe so, yeah. Okay. So, cool. um, yeah, it was, it was nice to hit that $100,000 mark. I mean, they, they raised that money, almost that much money in one year in, in uh, the cities, but Per, per union member and with uh, our population, the community is just over, you know, they're great. They, they really give, so that's a great cause. Thank you. Well, thank thank you, you guys for putting the effort forward. We appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, Jim, maybe, maybe you could just comment on how the money is used? Yeah, um, it's a lot of it, or some of it goes towards the, the camp. The kids get to go to a, a one-week camp and they get, I mean, they, they fast rope, they or they zip line and they, they swim, they fish, they do all the things that normal kids can do. And some of these kids are, have never been out of a wheelchair. So it gives them an opportunity to do that. Plus a lot of the money goes towards uh, research at the University of Minnesota. Last year we got to go up to the labs and see some of the stuff they actually do. And they're, they're just making huge, uh, huge progress in, in the research. So hopefully they'll, they'll cure this one day. So. All right. Thanks, Thanks, James. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Thank everybody for us. We appreciate it. And do we just do, do you have a motion? to vote on that? Or yeah. Make, oh, okay. we might as well. Let's have a yeah. motion. I move that we uh, approve fill the boot for MDA again this year. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Take care of you for another year. We Thank also you. have a proclamation. I, I won't go through the whole thing for Thanks Buddy you. Poppy Day, but they're going to be doing the uh, poppies again today. This is for veterans of foreign wars. And it's recognized since 1922. Um, and the day is Friday and Saturday, May 20th, 2016. So if you see those poppies out there, buy them. The money's for a good cause. It's for it's veterans. All right, with that, we come to number four, the consent agenda. We need a motion. So moved. Is there second. a second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Item number five, under bids and awards, receiving bids for asphalt, concrete, street reconstruction on South Main, 1st Avenue to 3rd Avenue, and 3rd Avenue Southwest, Main Street to 4th Street. Stephen. Yes, the project that you have described, uh, we accepted bids on May 12th for this project, 
And uh, the work it will involve some, some reconstruction of South Main Street from First Avenue to Third Avenue. Uh, timing for that project, we worked with the Chamber of Commerce and that will be after the 4th of July so as not to impact the, the parade route. Uh, the Third Avenue section of the project, which is Third Avenue Southwest from Main Street to 4th Street, that will probably start prior to 4th of July uh, with, with limited to no impact to the 4th of July event. So it's just the, fourth, the Main Street section that's going to be delayed slightly. Uh, but with this uh, project, which involves utility replacement, sidewalk replacement, and resurfacing, <coughs> We have uh, two bidders on the project, with Ulan Brothers being the low bidder at $1,078,363.95. We also had some alternate bids along with it, but in this case, we would recommend to only uh, award the base bid to Ulan Brothers at this time. Uh, funding for these projects, these are state aid projects, so we have state aid funding involved, as well as our uh, assessments and our stormwater and wastewater treatment plant funds as well. Council? Questions? Comments? If there are none, we need a motion. A motion. A resolution, right? Resolution. Resolution. Second. Mr. Danker. Councilmember King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Six is another resolution receiving bids for alley reconstruction west of Main Street from 3rd Avenue Northwest South to the dead end. Stephen. In recent years, we've looked to reconstruct uh, the concrete alleys in the downtown area. And this year, we're looking at the area the mayor described, which is um, behind Piggy Blues, uh, adjacent to the town center. It's a dead end alley. Uh, work that we, we do as part of these projects is we will re reconstruct the concrete pavement. Uh, we work with us and utilities as they have electrical vaults a lot of times in our downtown alleys. They plan to reconstruct an electrical vault. We have some extensive storm sewer work to improve drainage and, and help out with some of the roof drains and different underground drains that a lot of these downtown buildings have. So those are kind of the details of the project. Uh, two bidders again on this project with Doyle Connor Company being the low bidder at $98,321.15. Uh, and funding for this project would come out of our street reconstruction fund and also our stormwater fund. We'd recommend awarding the project to Doyle Connor. Council? If there's nothing further, we need a resolution for six. So moved. Second. Mr. Nankert. Councilmember King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Under petitions and requests, 7 is a motion adopting 2016 Council goals. Craig? Mayor, members uh, included in your packet are the 2016 goals that we've talked about with Council at the retreat, working with department heads and also including items of significant capital expenditure. Uh, general topics include the electronic man management, working with constituents being digitally inclusive having professional and efficient operations for the city, focus on economic development and am amenity enhancements, um, and livability of our community. Council action is requested to approve the goals as included in the packet. And Council, do you have any comments? I went through them. All right, we need a motion. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, thank you. It is resolution reaffirming council participation in a 38-unit HRA workforce housing project at Fox Point. Right. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Members, uh, this is a continuation of a previous uh, TIF approval that council indicated on a similar project moving forward uh, <coughs> in the uh, with Three Rivers Community Action. Uh, this would be a pay-as-you-go tax increment financing district. The council would is expressing receptiveness to participating in. Uh, council action is requested to approve the resolution included in the packet for the HRA tax credit project that would create 38 townhome rental units uh, in the pay-as-you-go tax increment financing. Council, anything? I'd just like to add, uh, as a member of the HRA board, that this, this project is contingent upon us getting the funding for this uh, grant project, so. Um, it's a highly competitive process, and we're hopeful that um, all of this, what we're laying the groundwork for, may or may not actually happen. Well, it's not the first time we've Right, this is our, kind of our second round we tried last year, so. Hopefully we learned. Right. Okay, anything so else? Resolution. Is there a second? 
Second. Mr. Dankers. Councilmember King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7-0, Your Honor. Thank you. Nine is a resolution approving strong waste charges, Mr. Lang. Over the past 20 years, we have completed about $35 million worth of projects at our wastewater treatment plant. Uh, those have been about half of the projects involved uh, refurbishing or reconstructing existing facilities and about half of those dollars have gone toward new infrastructure and through um, good fund management and planning we've been able to do all of that work without bonding for for dollars for those projects we've been able to pay for them out of fund balance and things like that uh, a lot of that pertains to our sewer user funds we've uh, done a couple presentations to the council recently about increases to the sewer user fund to try to fund um, upcoming projects in our CIP. But along with that goes the uh, strong waste charges. We have a few um, uh, industrial customers in the community that have waste, they, they discharge waste out of the facility that is stronger than residential waste. We look at um, a threshold number that says if your solids or your um, oxygen demand that you discharge from your facility is greater than 200 uh, milligrams per liter, you then are charged an extra rate because it costs more to treat that. So we're, we're trying to create a threshold and those that are above it are charged a little greater cost for the infrastructure and everything that's needed. But in looking back at our rates, um, our, our rates for strong waste charges had not been keeping up with our sewer user rates. And we wanted to, at this time, bring those strong waste charges up to the same level as what our sewer, sewer user charges are. And in order to do that, we're looking at a, a four stage increase in order to bring those up to current uh, sewer user rates. So what we are recommending here today would be uh, four increases. Each increase would be approximately 11%. Those increases would occur on July 1st of 2016. January 1st, 2017, January 1st, 2018, and January 1st, 2019. Those increases would then bring the strong waste charges up to a similar level or, or it, would, it would bring them to an increased level consistent with what our sewer user rates have increased over the past uh, 15 years. So um, with that, that would be our recommendation in order to bring those up to a common level, we would recommend those four increases phased out over the next three and a half years. Council, anything additional? If not, we need a resolution. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Dankert. Council Member King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Number 10 is a resolution approving a Petro Fund reimbursement for the former budget oil site, Mr. Lang. Since 2011, we've been working with the MPCA on uh, cleanup or monitoring of the old budget oil gas station site located uh, 501 uh, Oakland Avenue East. At that time, when we purchased the property, there was money set aside in escrow. Uh, by the owner of the property and we entered into a voluntary agreement with the MPCA to do ongoing monitoring to make sure that there uh, was not any ongoing contamination as a result of the the use that was there and so we've been doing that for now for about uh, four or five years and we received from the MPCA uh, a letter stating that the uh, MPCA is pleased to let you know that it has determined your investigation and cleanup have adequately addressed the petroleum tank release at the site listed above. Based on the information provided, the MPCA has closed out the petroleum tank release for this site. So that was good news. We received that uh, back in August, August 3rd of 2015. So uh, part of the overall project was that uh, if everything was done in accordance with MPCA procedures, we would, for those items that are eligible, we would receive 90% reimbursement from the MPCA, and then the remaining 10% would come out of that escrow account that was put aside by the property owner. So there would be no exposure to the city of Austin. So with that, uh, eligible costs, 
um, we're looking at, as part of our application, 90% of the eligible cost would account to $47,639.17. There would be uh, money that would come out of the 10% or money, the remaining 10% would come out of the escrow account. And then there are some non-eligible costs, 100% of those costs would come out of the escrow account. So um, in order to do a lot of the site monitoring and testing, the total project cost was $55,000. $189.79. Uh, in order to complete the Petro Fund application, it needs to have uh, council approval and authorize the mayor to sign those necessary documents. So that would be what we are requesting tonight to uh, submit the necessary documents for Petro Fund reimbursement. Any questions? If not, we need a resolution. So moved. Is there a second? Mr. Banker? Council Member King? Aye. Austin? Aye. Jordahl? Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Item 11 is a resolution accepting gifts to the City of Austin. We do this every meeting. Kind of a housekeeping thing. Any questions on it? If not, we need a resolution. So moved. Second. Mr. Danker. Councilmember King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 12 is a series of motions <coughs> granting the Planning and Zoning Department the power to contract for the removal of junk and or illegally stored vehicles at the following locations. A 1109 17th Avenue Northeast, the Knightsville property. We need a motion. So moved. A second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? B 615 14th Street Northeast, the Johansson property. You need a motion. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. C, 804 4th Street Northwest, a Cantor property. Need a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And finally, D, 101 20th Street Southeast, the Belden property. Need a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, we're finished with all of our regular business. Are there any citizens here tonight that want to address the council on items, on anything actually? We used to say on items that weren't on the agenda, but we're already through the agenda. Okay, if not, yes, sir. Come on up to the podium here. Give us your name, your address, and why you're here. Okay. Well, uh, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce A. Westrom, 1302 Second Avenue Southwest, Apartment 4. Regarding uh, the great game of tennis, and uh, uh, the lack thereof of uh, indoor tennis courts in town and uh, pertains to across the street and uh, some background I played the game since 10 years old my pastor Carlton for started me out with it and thing I get uh, probably my reputation precedes myself on the game if but, I, if I can just a yes. second you know we have nothing to do with the tennis court okay. over there it has to do with the, the project across the street it has the to do with the Y yes sir I mean I'll let you talk yeah, if yeah. you want but okay we, just a brief statement I'm okay. busy mm -hmm. I got to work out tonight to oh, the sectional and so okay. I practice makes perfect right. sorry uh, Mayor, that's but okay point being uh, uh, our youth uh, uh, very much uh, need indoor facilities to be able to uh, compete uh, fairly with other towns our size. Uh, the project across the street, uh, as far as uh, uh, stuffy space and uh, somewhat dirty, <coughs> and uh, uh, I just, uh, myself and other tennis players, uh, request a, a portion of that kind of money spent uh, f uh, by the community and by the business and everything, uh, as much as 10 10 percent of it for indoor courts uh, I anyway uh, um, also it isn't very pristine there and uh, any green space or trees out west of town uh, is uh, better and uh, more of a, a wow uh, uh, type of uh, facility instead of something after 10 20 years uh, and I was involved with the Albert Lee exp expansion the gym with the architect over there and grew up in the why I love the why and and uh, what it's all about and the philosophy I was at the uh, first uh, uh, 2020 meeting with everybody mr. Gary Ray some of the other principals uh, in here were not and uh, so uh, the pitch is uh, to uh, um, uh, the challenge on on that site over there and uh, uh, reject uh, 
um, reject that site and there's better sites and more careful uh, careful planning uh, uh, care about our youth I, su I support both the Gophers as well as uh, Gustavus for 30 40 year. care about our youth and our culture they're great give them give them uh, what they need and, uh, and a fair uh, fair chance so thank you for letting uh, me speak tonight thank you for your comments we've heard a lot of people talking about tennis courts and and of course it's not we're not going to have them in the city portion but I think the why here's here's what you're saying they do have some representatives here tonight okay with that anybody else with that we need oh any reports or recommendations start with Jeremy tonight nothing your honor David nothing your honor Mike nothing your honor Janet um, the sustainability task force which is a recommending body to the city uh, council uh, met this past Wednesday and are working on a pollinator friendly city resolution um, and there may be some legislation on the state level also regarding that topic and uh, also um, I'm going to hand it off to Mr. Lang but I do want to comment that there was another very successful electronics city county electronic recycling event this past Saturday it never ceases to amaze me how much can be uh, recycled. Stephen, give us an idea of how much there was. Well, um, in recent years, it, the, the level, the volume of materials has leveled off to about five semi loads. <laughs> um, and again, this year, it was still five to five and a half semi loads. So a uh, large volume of material was dropped off on Saturday. Um, I want to give a big thanks to all of the volunteers that helped out. Um, I, I don't want to start listing names because I'm sure I'll forget some, but the, I, want, I, I want to stress the amount of work that they did this year. Uh, our, our volunteer numbers were down, so the people that were there really worked hard. Um, there was a steady stream of vehicles for the entire five hours. Uh, vehicles started lining up uh, between 7 and 7.30 in the morning, and the gates did not open until 9 o'clock. And when the gates closed at 2 o'clock, there were still people in line. I believe they unloaded vehicles till about 2.20 to try to get all the people that were in line unloaded. So um, again, a great thanks to all the people that volunteered, all the different groups. And uh, again, we were low on numbers and we'll, we'll work to try to get some more volunteers and, and representatives there next year to help out those people that are working hard. So thank you. I just want to add one for the volunteers. There was one group to thank publicly is the Austin High School Go Green Club. The, the students that came to help were, were just amazing. They just, the amount of energy, all girls, and they were working hard. Is that it? Yep. All right, thank you. Jeff? I have nothing, Your Honor. Steve? Nothing, Your Honor. Judy? Nothing, Your Honor. Greg? Um, yes, uh, we uh, went to the Coalition of Greater Minnesota Cities uh, meeting here last week and visited with Senator Sparks in hopes of the session coming up with something promising for LGA and workforce housing broadband and our bonding project and the like. Uh, he assures us things are looking good and uh, hopefully they can figure something out of the arm wrestling that's going on there and we'll see how it ends. Yeah, And uh, I believe Ann has something as well. Yes, I just wanted to note that filing opens tomorrow um, and will run through May 31st at 5 o'clock p.m. The positions open this year are the mayor's and then a seat from first ward, second ward, third ward, and then the three Austin utilities positions. Um, you have to be an Austin resident to file. You have to be 21 years of age, um, a registered voter, and the filing fee is $25. And you file here at City Hall in the clerk's office. Your office. Okay. Anything else? Anybody else have anything in department heads? All right, if not, we need a motion to adjourn till June. I want to stay tuned. We're going to be holding our first work session uh, section in this in this room right here as soon as the council meeting's done. We need a motion to adjourn till June 6, 2016 at 5.30. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, we are now here. We're going to do our work session. Normally, we go across the hall. But